what we discovered was that the first order of business was to actually design the mandate for the institution to really understand what we were trying to accomplish. And our approach was to work from the inside out. So we were kind of inside the story, uh, inside the culture, uh, and working out towards Frank. And Frank was working sort of from the outside in. And the mandate that we evolved was really three parts. It was to declare that ultimately we needed to make a declaration of ecological independency, that, that people need, needed to be able to see it. So, and I have to say that when we arrived here at the hotel, I opened the window and I could see it. And it was like a beautiful thing on the, uh, on the horizon. Uh, so that was the first concept. Uh, the, the second was to educate, that if we don't actually change the way that we think, well, we're not really accomplishing anything. Uh, and the third was to network, that um, since we were making such a big investment, uh, we didn't want to waste the, any of it. So the whole idea was to say, look, let's think about how we can, instead of trying to push, pull energy to us, let's think how we can push energy into the network. How can we, how can we get energy to go into the system, uh, into the country? Um, and we started to think about Panama as the museum and that we were actually building a kind of lobby to the museum, a way of, of, of getting to it. Um, so that was the, for me, the kind of um, first experience and g going with t Tony into the forest, uh, experiencing what actually is here, um, spending time really understanding what they do um, and his, his descriptions of it and the, the kind of core idea that in the end, you know, one of the things he explained was if you wanted to make a, an experiment at the largest scale in biodiversity, you would do Panama. And that, that really became the, the core idea of everything that we did.